Hey there, ready for today's name? In John chapter 10, verse nine, Jesus says, I am the door. That's a different kind of title. In half of the translations I looked at, it said, I am the gate. The other half said door. Here's the rest of that verse. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. That's John chapter 10, verse nine. Earlier in the study, we read, I am the good shepherd. And that was from John chapter 10, verse 11. So right after he calls himself this doorway and this gate, and those who enter in through Jesus will be saved and they can come in and go out and find pasture. And then he talks about the good shepherd and how the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So here's a little bit of extra that goes with that. In Hebrew, the phrase come in and go out is an idiom. It's a saying for living in a relationship with a community. So at Irvine Canaan, we come in and go out and we are in a relationship with a community. So here Jesus is probably talking about the new believers, the believers of the new covenant in that community. They will come in and go out and find pasture. Like 99% of the verses that I read said pasture. One of them said green pasture. One said they will find everything they need. And the other one said they will find plenty of food. So when we put the good shepherd laying down his life for us, the sheep, even though we go astray and he has to go search us out and bring us back. In biblical times, they didn't have a lot of fancy doors. They didn't always have actual gates on their pens for the sheep. They would have stone walls or a higher fence of some kind. And the shepherd himself would lay down across the opening. So if any of the sheep tried to get out, they'd step on them and wake them up. If anything tried to get in, a wolf or a lion, they would wake them up. After Jesus talks about this, he talks about people who, the sheep, who know their shepherd enter in through the gate. They enter in through the door. But the people that don't know the shepherd, the thieves that are trying to take what's not theirs, will go around and climb over the fence or try to find a different way in. And it's really an exciting chapter. I recommend you read, just go through and read the whole thing. Focus on 10, 9 and 10, 11, as we talk about Jesus, the gate, ourselves as the sheep, and being able to have a fellowship, a community with Jesus and the believers, the messianic believers that believe that Jesus is the Messiah. And we will go into that community. We will go into heaven and we will have everything we need. We will have a safe green pasture. And me and loving the outdoors, that's kind of exciting. Um, if you remember Psalm 23, he leads me through the valley and he leads me by streams of calm water into good pasture. This is really an idyllic, calm, a meadow, I picture flowers in a nice calm lake or river nearby, a river. 
that's not going too fast because sheep, they're made out of wool. Well, their fur is wool. And if they get in the water, they will probably drown because their wool gets so heavy and they can't swim. So a safe pasture with everything they need. A community with fellow believers and God sounds pretty good. As you go through doors and gates today, think about that as Jesus with your door. All right, have a great day. I will talk with you later. Bye.